How fast can you rip a DVD in 2018? That is what we're going to take a look at today. Let me tell you a brief story. My friends at Wonderfox Soft reached out to me and asked me if I would test some of their software, which is supposedly the fastest on the market at ripping and converting a DVD. So naturally, I've jumped at the chance to do this. This is something that I do tend to do as I do have a media server in my house and there are still films that you can only get on DVD and you can't get on Blu-ray or 4K. Let's take a look, shall we? Before I could test the software, I thought to myself, hmm, not everyone has a DVD drive. So why don't I get a nice and cheap one off eBay? So I got this. What this is, is basically a DVD rewriter taken from a laptop and put into a nice lovely caddy. So you can attach it to a desktop or a laptop or any device where you don't have a DVD drive. I have put a link in the description below to buy one of these from eBay. I would recommend them. They're very good if you don't have a DVD or Blu-ray drive on your PC. So please help support the channel and if you are looking to purchase one, purchase the one below and I guarantee you it will satisfy your dreams. Everything I test today will be performed with the DVD drive that I have just shown you uh, and that is to give you an idea of what somebody without an optical drive can expect to get from this software along with a very cheap DVD drive. The software that I am using, which the, uh, the company have kindly allowed me to use, is called DVD Ripper Pro. So in order to test this, I'm actually going to rip a brand new movie. Something you've probably never seen before, but something which I'm very excited to test with this software. I'm going to use a copy of Tomo's Tech Pool. Those of you who haven't seen it, then you probably never will. Uh, but if you are interested in getting a copy of the film, Please add comments below and I will make the film and um, yes, sell the film and give you a copy or whatever. Um, but reviews are quite good. I'll show you what it says on the reverse. It's reek good. So there we go. The disc does look uh, rather familiar, but uh, hmm, never mind. No one sees that in the shop. They only see the... Uh, the front cover which was uh, beautifully designed and made by my marketing team uh, which is of course me so without further ado we'll jump in so let's open wonder fox dvd ripper pro lovely loading screen there you will have to excuse me while i uh, sip my yorkshire tea Okay, so when you first get into the app, you are presented with a very simple screen actually that um, gives the option to rip a DVD disc, an ISO image or a DVD folder. So in this case we're going to use a DVD disc and then we have the option of where we want to output the video. So we can, uh, we can change that and uh, before I look at this section here just want to uh, show you what's on the top here so we can check for updates which is a nice uh, nice touch we'll go into the options so we can uh, oh that's nice we can we can control uh, how many ah right so we can use it for batch encoding um, so we can uh, amend settings relating to that uh, we can change the sound that is uh, <laughs> that is played once once the conversion is done, and then we can choose what happens after the conversion is done. So we can no action, exit, open destination folder, exit an open destination folder, restart computer, or shut down. That's uh, that's really nice. Is that conversion? We can choose how many CPU cores we want to use. Excellent. We can change the CPU priority of the encoder. So we could, uh, if we want to just do it in the background without affecting uh, too many of our other processes, we could set it right down here. 
or we could uh, move it really high if you want the encode to uh, to happen very quickly and we can also use GPU acceleration so I've got uh, a, an NVIDIA graphics card with CUDA cores but I've also got um, quite a modern Core i7 so I, d I don't know which it's going to use so it'll be quite interesting to uh, to see that so download we've got a um, number of tasks there um, I believe that you can get a version of this that allows you to download directly off the internet and convert the files uh, from YouTube etc uh, DVD ripping so we can we've got an option there of whether or not we want to show the prompt box every time when the DVD is loading so we'll come out of that, we don't need to change anything there, we've got a help centre so we'll, we'll have a quick look at there yes we've got a few bits there that we can uh, we can take a look at, looks like it's a web based help and then this is uh, registered um, so we've got an about thing there, we can see which version it is there, so we've got 11.1 uh, right now, I'll show you the uh, the really cool and interesting uh, part of this software. So, if you click on this device here, you can actually choose um, pretty much any popular device. So, those of you who follow my videos know that I use an iPhone SE. So, I click on the Apple logo, and then I can select the iPhone SE. So, we've automatically got it at the quality we need to get a decent picture or as decent as we can get from a DVD rip for the iPhone SE and we can change it so it's high quality or maybe we can't <laughs> it's just somewhere in the middle um, and then we can even we can uh, yeah so we can we can set it to HD don't really um, understand the the point of that uh, given that we're only ripping a DVD uh, we could just rip the audio we can <laughs> we can select ringtone quality uh, web based so we can uh, convert it to um, any of these uh, very handy formats there uh, web M that's a, that's a nice touch uh, we could do a one to one quick copy so we just copy it as it is as an mpeg2 I assume or um, an ISO or rip, rip the DVD folder or we can Looks like we can customize uh, these settings as well. So that's uh, that's nice. There we go. So we can we can change these in here. Um, or can we? Maybe uh, maybe the the version I've got doesn't doesn't allow that. How does it? Oh yeah. Just need to start putting the resolution in. I'm not going to mess around with that because uh, there's that many options. <laughs> I think what I want to do is rip it so it's good enough for a TV. I'm going to use H.265 so those of you who know H.265 is much better than H.264 in that the file sizes are smaller. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do H.265 for MP4. I'm going to click DVD disk and from when I click Oh, that's that's wrong. It should say Tomo's Tech Pool, but uh, never mind. So I'll, I'll click OK, and we'll start the timer running. Right. So we won't quite start the uh, the timer running. So you get the option of of ripping different sections of it. So you can download sorry not download you can rip the trailers that that kind of thing bits from the uh, the background of the uh, <laughs> the menus but uh, it does seem to auto select the main movie so we can uh, we can select if you want to rip the uh, the subtitles as well <coughs> excuse me um, I'm not going to do that so it's going to take a 7.8 gigabyte file and reduce it down to 1.3 gigabytes. So I'll just click on edit, see what we can see. All ah, right, okay. So it looks as though we can apply filters while we rip. That could be quite interesting. 
But uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'll just come out of that. Um, yeah, so I will rip that now. Ah, so on this one I can change it to low quality. Um, but it doesn't seem to have made a difference. So I don't know if that affects the file size or if it's just the the speed at which the um, the encode will happen. So we, we're pretty much there. So I'll click run and we'll set a time and see how quick it takes to rip my new movie, um, Tomo's Tech Pool. Liam, man, I don't care what you say. Bradford City are obviously better. Leeds got beat by Preston North End tonight. That's terrible. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so bit of rounding on the maths uh, with the timings. So it took approximately 35 minutes with that crap eBay DVD drive. Not bad, I would say, compared to other software on the market. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to rip, or not rip, we are going to convert an ISO from an SSD to an SSD. Let's see what happens. I've done some very, very vigorous testing of the software and I have compared it to Handbrake, which is my go-to video encoding software. And what, what I found, there wasn't much difference, to be honest. There was not much difference in quality. There was not much difference in speed. But the, the, the fact that the, the software has that lovely front end where you can pop a DVD in the drive and, and just say, yeah, I want to do this. 35 minutes later, you've got an mp4 of your dvd of in fact hang on this dvd tomo's tech pool do you know if i if i don't win an oscar i'll be absolutely gutted anyway here's a jump cut to when i was wearing a different shirt to end the video so thank you ever so much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed yet then please do so be very very much appreciated and also click the bell notification so that you know when I've uploaded my new videos um, next thing I want to just cover off before I go is I have purchased this so this is a Dell Optiplex FX 160 and it is a single core Atom and I have no idea what to do with it I have seen a Greenham gaming video um, where he has changed it into a Spotify uh, sort of jukebox type thing. But uh, as many people in the comments pointed out, he could have just got a Chromecast audio and achieved the same thing. I picked this up for £16, so it, it was very cheap, um, but I don't have a clue what to do with it. So you know what to do, suggestions in the comments. I will do anything you can think of with this. Uh, I've considered emulation, maybe, maybe a good idea. Uh, probably not wise for us to uh, focus on games, but uh, yeah, you guys tell me what do you want me to do with it. If you've not followed me on Twitter yet, then follow me on Twitter and hit me up on there. I'll start a thread on there and I'll also put some on Instagram um, asking for help because I really don't know what to do with it, but for £16 it seems like I should do something with it. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.